Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a small skincare haul. The first package is from the Skin Masquerade. I buy from them a lot because they have great selection of Korean um, skincare products. And from there, I picked up two sunscreens and one serum. I got the Inky Lists Q10 Serum. Um, I have never used this brand before. It's my first time buying their product. I purchased this serum because I kind of want to dabble into anti-aging skincare. Uh, but um, I have extremely sensitive skin so I can't really use retinols or any other products. So I only have very limited options like Q10, Reservatrol, um, Vitamin C or peptides. I'm yet to try this product out and once I do, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. The next product is from Klaivu. Klaivu? I don't know how to pronounce this brand's name. Anyways, it is their UV protection fresh skin gel sunscreen and it is such a great sunscreen. I mean, one of my favorite sunscreens ever. If I remember correctly, it is fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and it also has mineral filters. It is non-greasy, just sinks right into the skin. It's not shiny. So people that have, it also doesn't leave white cast, by the way. So people that have oily skin are gonna love it. And I feel like it is a great sunscreen to use in summers. The other sunscreen that I bought is Eleven Village Factory's Hydra Sun Fluid. Um, I've only used it maybe twice and it did seem like a really nice sunscreen. It is very thin, it almost feels like water, um, but it does give your skin a little bit of glow when you use it. It doesn't leave a white cast, so if you're looking for a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast on you, I think it'd be a great option. I received two samples of Burrito's Daily Go-To Sunscreen. Um, I'm yet to dry these out, but I think it'd be a good way to dry out new sunscreen. Next package is also from the Skin Masquerade, and I purchased another sunscreen. This one is G9's White in Milk Sunscreen, um, and I have used it a couple of times, and I'm still not a fan of it. It doesn't leave a white cast on my skin, but it is kind of greasy. Even though it's fluidy, when you rub it in the skin, it almost feels like you're rubbing a greasy moisturizer on your skin. So it's not something I like to use in um, summers. I will try it out again in winters and see how I like it, but right now I don't. And I received a free sample of Maison's um, uh, Placenta 45 Serum. I haven't used it yet. Next package is from Beauty Glance and I purchased some stuff from them as well. It is my second favorite online store to shop from because they sell original stuff at a very reasonable price. I received two samples with my purchase. One is this Cosrx Lightweight Soothing Moisturizer and I have full size of this product. It is a really really good product. I really love it. I've been using it in summers and it's been great. And the other sample I've got is from Pyeongkang Yo. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's their oil. Anyways, the product that I bought is Lynette's Lip Slipping Mask in Berry. It is a very famous product. I feel like everyone knows about it. Um, it was my first time trying it out and I mean, I do understand why it is famous now that I've tried it out. It smells like bubble gum. It has a very nice scent. I really like it and this product works very well. It makes lips so so soft and it also takes care of the dead skin on lips. Other lip balms usually kind of come off the lips once you eat or drink or something. 
uh, but this one stays on lips no matter what you eat um, what you drink you can like still feel its remnant on your lips and I apply it overnight and when I wake up it's still on my lips you get a cute little tiny spatula with it to scoop out the product so you are not dunking your fingers in it every time so I think that was good I got Tam's Vira B toner. Um, it is a panthenol based toner and panthenol is an ingredient that I absolutely love because I have very sensitive and dehydrated skin and I feel like panthenol just works very well with my skin type. So I purchased this um, toner but I have not had the chance to use it because I purchased so many toners that um, I don't think I'll be able to use it until the next year. Next package is from Nahib PK and from them I got Andalou Naturals products. And Lou Natural is actually my favorite skincare brand since 2016 because their products just work so well with my skin. If I'm using their products alone, my skin just becomes so healthy, radiant, soft, and beautiful. I got their Goji Peptide and Age Defying Cream and I bought it because I want to include some anti-aging products in my routine without irritating my skin because I cannot use retinol so I thought it would be a great product to try out. I have used their serum before and it worked out really great for my skin. I also got their floral toner. Um, it is from their sensitive line. It is supposed to be a soothing toner but I won't say that it is soothing to the skin. No, it's not. Um, I cannot use it when my skin is irritated because it can sting a little bit but this product is so good otherwise because it makes my skin so soft and I literally feel my skin's hydration and condition improving. I went to the mall and picked up a few things from there. Um, makeup remover, lip scrub and I also needed a new nail polish remover. I got St. Ives lip scrub for my sister. She has very crusty, dry lips, so she wanted something for that. So I picked this up for her. I haven't had the chance to use it. I will give it a go. Then I picked up new nail polish remover. Um, and then I picked up Garnier's Skin Active uh, Simply Essential Soothing 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. I do not like this makeup remover. It doesn't work it leaves such a horrible oily layer on the skin it doesn't do a good job at taking off makeup guys my cellar water does a way better job than that i picked up um from miniso these diy sheet masks these are compressed masks you put them in a liquid and um, you get a sheet mask they are so bad so harsh and thick i thought i just um um use my toner to make a sheet mask for myself but it just didn't work it was dripping everywhere um it was a horrible product waste of money i picked up three body lotions from body luxuries um i got honey one and then two dancing waters one these are i guess okay um i always have to have um lotions lying around in the house because i use them so much I got an ice roller for myself because my skin is just always so red and inflamed and irritated so I thought I'd just pop it in the fridge and just um, roll away the irritation but um, it was nice, it was okay, um, it cooled down a lot quicker um, so that was an issue. So I think I'll try some other roller, maybe the one that has a metal. I got this cute little flask because I 
need to make um body serum for myself because I bought um Alice Corby case a few years ago and I still haven't gotten around to using it. Um, I also picked up this alcohol um for my sister because um we got her derma roller and she still hasn't had the chance to use it. Be whenever you use derma roller, you have to dip it in alcohol each time um to disinfect it. So that's why I picked up um that alcohol i thought i'd show you guys um which drama roller she plans on using it's from timeless I picked up these um, pH strips because as I said I plan on making serum for body and I wanted to check its pH because aliscorbic uh, um, works best at a certain pH level. I also got distilled water um, to use in making that serum. This is the aliscorbic powder that I was talking about. I bought it years ago and i never used it so i thought um i should definitely use it up because i don't want to waste it i hope you like this video if you do do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon bye